Hi everyone, welcome to our March 19th webinar for the newly released ArcVision dashboard. I'm John Anderson, ArcVision's Customer Service Manager. Today we're going to overview the latest release updates for the ArcVision dashboard. Feel free to post any questions as we go along. If you've got the ArcVision dashboard installed already, you'll see a notification at the top of your dashboard. You'll see it right up here. We encourage you to run the update installer today. The first question we often hear is why run the update now? Everything's already working fine. In fact, we know some users are still using an older version of Dashboard or even the old ArcVision Content Manager. One of the primary reasons to have you migrate from the old system or update your existing Dashboard version is the old ACM will soon be deprecated. But more importantly, the Dashboard offers improved workflow and access to new features. With this latest version, you'll be able to gain control over license management. We've added a new license administration tab that will allow you to see who the administrator is, who is using a license, and if you're the administrator, you'll be able to reassign it. Now I'll show you the new admin feature. I'm already logged in, and if I click on my login name, I'll see the license management tab. Clicking on this allows me to access the admin features. We'll continue to enhance this feature, but this is the first iteration to help you begin managing office use of your licenses. Every license will have an admin assigned. For some folks, this may be your purchasing agent. In many cases, this will be fine, but if you have an in-office purchasing agent, please contact that agent or contact us to have it assigned to the proper administrator. Admins have the ability to add users to a license. If you have a floating license, you can add entire teams, or limit access accordingly. Since the tool enables you to view who is accessing the license, it's a great way to help you see actual license use and manage licenses. With this update, you'll also gain path management tools and update management tools, along with an improved Revit drag and drop plugin that is only distributed with Dashboard and is included with your license. We invite and encourage users to give us feedback on tools and features they need or like to see improved. One user recently contacted us about our user interface for configuring paths. When you added paths, it was saved instantly, but it wasn't clear to the user until it was actually saved. He asked if we could add some more feedback. Well, we listened and we agreed, and so now you'll see a new button, which you click on to ensure your paths are saved. We've covered some of the basics related to a dashboard desktop install. For users who may be doing a network rendering, we have a couple of options and these options also allow the admin to establish fixed paths for all dashboards to path to and allow the admin to control when updates are pushed out to nodes. If you need help with setting up a network render, please go to our downloads page at arcvision.com and select network deployment options to see setup and instructions. Feel free to drop me a line at support at arcvision.com. Running the update, whether from a desktop or network environment, is simple and straightforward. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact us at support at arcvision.com and we'll help you get set up. Thanks again for joining us today. Our next webinar is going to be in a couple of weeks and we're going to be sharing a new feature with you that's currently in a private beta. We're looking forward to showing this one off to everybody. At this time, uh, go ahead and we'll, we'll take some of your questions.